we're inside the uh, Malta Fairs and Convention Center, the MFCC. Next to me is one of the contestants and she has not been there for the first time. Uh, we know her brother, we know her as well, of course. It's Claudia von Yellow. Hello, nice yes, to see it's you. me again. <laughs> How did your rehearsals go for today? Oh, so this was our second rehearsal. Um, um, you know, every rehearsal has a... Um, it's uh, always like a different experience, you know? It was really fun. Um, uh, I love my song and uh, I think this is the first year which I actually enjoyed rehearsals because usually I'm very excited, you know? You want everything to be perfect. And this time, um, I am so at ease with the song and everything about it that I, I actually enjoyed the rehearsals as well, as if I was on the actual night. The song is called Pure. It's written by two of the biggest composers and songwriters of Malta, Philip Vella and Gerald James okay, Borch. Yes. How is it to be working with them? Well, this is, um, I think, my fourth song um, that we've been working together, apart from my album two years ago, which was uh, mostly done by, by Philip as well. Um, um, there is a lot of harmony, uh, the way we, we um, uh, work together. Uh, we challenge each other to always do something better. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's a beautiful thing. And even for a singer, it's very important that you can um, be comfortable with the, your songwriters and you can give them your ideas as well. Because eventually, you are going to be singing a song. So it has to be like uh, the, whole, the whole package has to be really... Um, how can I say? Um, oh, I can't find the word. It has to be like... Uh, Fitting together. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Pure, can you tell us what the song is all about? Well, Pure talks about um, uh, love uh, that doesn't need words to be described. It's a feeling. Mm -hmm. um, uh, not everyone is lucky enough to have experienced that kind of love, but who does or who has um, uh, knows what Pure to talk I talk about in, uh, in, in Pure. That's basically it. I mean, it's a, uh, it's it's exp it expresses um, uh, what everyone looks for, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, not the I love you, but the, what you feel inside and the the real love, you know. Principe azzurro, we say in Italian. <laughs> <laughs> well, my Italian is a little bit rusty, <laughs> yeah. so. I um, but but it's a funny. You have the same love as your brother. Yes, we yeah. do. <laughs> I have to listen to my mom and to my sister as well. It's the same thing. Nice. You have been there in 2008 with Caravaggio, which was, by the way, a fantastic entry. Would have been a good entry to Eurovision. Yes. Uh, Blue Sonata. Yes. You did Samsara. Samsara. And now Pure. My mind. And last year's Mia. Yeah. I had Limhab Bamia and... Oh. It's the phone again, so... Yeah, sorry. <laughs> no problem, that's okay. I was going to swear. <laughs> I didn't know it when we were on air. <laughs> and, um, uh, and I had High Alert. I had seven, eight songs and seven entries, like seven mm -hmm. years. Which of those is actually your favorite? Well, last year, um, I always thought a uh, movie in my mind would be my favorite because um, uh, it portrays what I am as in style, as in mm -hmm. what I like as in style of music. Um, uh, however, um, this year when I heard Pure, um, I was a bit uh, doubtful because um, before I heard it actually because uh, I wanted to go for something the same like moving my mind because mm -hmm. that is me and it's it's good not to deny who you are because you, it, it shows mm -hmm. if, if you're not enjoying what what you're what you're singing but when I heard pure even though it's not as rock as maybe I am in my heart uh, it's still a bit uh, like pop rock, you know, it's very mm -hmm. like a rock ballad kind of and um, I think it, it uh, goes well with the Eurovision scene too something that maybe last year was a bit, it was a bit of a shock as well it was a bit maybe too hard so now um, I found like that's why I'm at ease because I found a song which suits the Eurovision stage and um, suits my like as well, like uh, the music that mm -hmm. I like so I'm in harmony.
Fantastic. Really? I just love it. I, I, what I do like about your music is that you're very diverse. You can do everything, basically. Because, but that's that is a good thing um, with an artist because um, along the years you always try to find um, um, your style. You know, an artist, even even the voice changes, and and you grow up, and mm -hmm. and you go through different experiences which change you. And obviously, when you love music. Even music changes you, and um, that's exactly what happened with me. Like I started with one thing, went to another, and that's when you find yourself. If you don't experiment in life, you will never know who you really are, and as an artist, what yeah. what you really want to to give the people out there. Mm -hmm. You are competing. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. I'm Hi, that's Manfred. Hi, that's Hi, Fabrizio as well. Yes. <laughs> um, you are competing. Yes. In this competition, also against your brother. Oh well, we don't. We don't um, uh, feel as if we're competing. I mean, Fabrizio, since I was very, very young, um, he was always my idol. So I can never compete with with my idol. You know what I mean? <laughs> Nowadays, I mean, we're completely two different uh, performers, but uh, we enjoy each other's each other's music. Mm -hmm. And uh, we support each other with uh, with our differences, you know, and that's the nice of it, because we are siblings, but at the same time, um, uh, we give something different to the to audience each other, yeah. and to each other. Yes, yeah, that, that's nice. Apart from your brother being an idol for you, which other singers have you got in, as an idol? Well, um, uh, I must say that, and I'm sure everyone out there knows that in Malta there are a lot a lot of very talented singers mm -hmm. and you have to consider that most of us don't even uh, learn like uh, music we don't have like schools of music which are very professional yeah. so we are born with it and obviously then you grow up to perform and uh, you always specialize in, 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 in what you're doing like um, I'm a big fan of Pamela Bezina okay who uh, unfortunately doesn't have a song she didn't put a song for this year but i'm sure she will be here and um, backing some other some other singers i always tell her when i meet her you know i would like you to be my teacher because you're the best she actually <laughs> uh, conducts the anime gospel choir doesn't exactly. she exactly and we saw her. she is she is a, a great a great person not just a, um, as a singer even as a as a person and say you know mm -hmm. so um you always admire people who are so talented and remain so humble so, yeah. um, uh, and that's, that's the people I'm attracted to. And uh, Pamela is one, of, is one mm. of the great singers, I think, here in Malta. International singers, you, you like to listen to their music. What, who are you putting on your CD player? Oh. Or on your iPhone? Oh. <laughs> um, I think um, uh, I listen a bit of everything. It depends on the mood. I mean, if I'm at the gym, I do like... I like to move it, move it, or something oh, like yes. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but at home, um, uh, I like to listen a lot of rock songs, uh, especially the classics, like, mm -hmm. um, I don't know, Metallica. And, uh, oh, wow. But I'm, I'm, I'm a huge fan of a Finnish band called Him. Okay, yes, I've heard about them. I yeah, yeah. love them. And uh, I grew up listening to, to Villavalo, the, the singer, and his music. So you can imagine uh, how different, you know, <laughs> from, from what I actually do. Um, uh, so, well, as you said, I'm quite diverse, you know. Mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. like to listen a bit of everything because you learn from every style of music. And then you, keep, you pick up bits and pieces from there and mm -hmm. um, you create something of your own. Now let's go back to the history of the Eurovision Song Contest in Malta, the Maltese entries I'm, I'm looking at. Have you any favorites amongst those? Yes, I always say this. Um, uh, I love more than love. More than love. Yeah, of, um, uh, that was in '94, I think. It's Moira and Chris. Mm -hmm. Or more than more than love. What music is to me? Yes, I love that song. Well, That's my all-time favorite. Sang by Claudia Faniello, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Claudia's version. And uh, going back into the history of the Eurovision Song Contest, have you got any favorites amongst those over a thousand songs? Oh, that's too many. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, wow. There are so, so many. Okay, so just one of the that, many songs yeah, just that... that, that um, jumps to your mind now that you have. Oh, I when I was young, I used to love Die For You. 
antique. By Elena, yeah, antique, antique at yeah. the time. Because Fabrizio had then been to the Eurovision with another summer night yep. on the same evening. Then when I grew older, um, uh, in the recent years, I liked Molitva mm -hmm. of Serbia. I think the singer is absolutely fantastic and uh, she stood out, she was different and the song is beautiful even though you do, I don't understand the thing yeah. from yeah, the lyrics. Yeah. I mean, but the power coming over. I mean, that's a good, good song because mm -hmm. when you don't understand what's going on, you know, but still the music um, captures you in, yeah. in a certain way. Well, that I'm sure that's a very good song. How important is winning the Eurovision Song Contest for you? Well, if, if it wasn't important, I wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. This is my seventh year. So, uh, but um, I look at it positively. Um, uh, sometimes when I have a song and I don't win, and the, the year after I say, but you know, everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's good because I grew up, now I know what I want, and um, I can handle my performance better than when I was younger. Mm -hmm. So I think this is actually the first year where I feel that um, I am ready to win um, uh, the Maltese finals. Um, uh, Pure is, um, is a great song and um, it gives me this feeling that, you know, I, I am ready. It, it, okay. it's, you can't describe it in words. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, this is what I was saying in the beginning. This is the first year where I actually enjoyed rehearsing the song, yeah. that I was at ease. Mm -hmm. Because usually I'm always very excited, you know. But I, it was like as if I was performing anywhere. Yeah. Oh. So, um, uh, and whatever happens, I mean, uh, I just love the song and everything about it and what, what uh, it what it brings out in my voice. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm very, very happy. I, okay, I'm telling you, 2012 that, yeah. is really great year for me. We Even hope. though it, it, may, it might finish this year, but at least I close it well. <laughs> <You> <laughs> know, 2012, right? Indeed. Um, we wish you all the good, good, good luck for it. And, Thank you and very much. How will you prepare for it on Friday, for the semi final? Um, uh, do you have a, uh, a ritual you do? Not really. Hiya, so. Before, before um, uh, when I'm on stage, I do the sign of the cross, and uh, I just enjoy it. Especially now, I repeat mm -hmm. this year, um, uh, because when you have a song, and when it's not that I didn't believe in my other songs, because every year if you yeah. believe in your mm -hmm. song, but then sometimes uh, a singer just has the song, and, and and you feel it. Yeah. This is this is it. That's nice. That's why it's nice to enter more than more than once mm -hmm. because you have uh, the time to evolve. Exactly. That's it. Yeah. One last question is: uh, We know that many Maltese singers have actually a second job. They're not not only singers; they are teachers. And what, what yes. is what do you do? Are you a full-time musician? I am, I am a full-time singer, uh, but um, uh, I'm uh, looking forward this year to go into school, back to school again. Uh, doing something completely different from music. Um, I would like to study psychology um, uh, and eventually um, graduate and, and become a psychologist. Fantastic. In five, six years times. But first win the Eurovision Song Contest. Yes, okay. of course. That's why I haven't been back to school. All so right. I'm giving all my concentration to music at the moment. Excellent. All the best of luck. Fingers Thank crossed for much. Pure and uh, Claudia Faniello. For it's a Pure.